A car that's hidden under a tarpaulin has a special attraction for me. I studied automotive engineering in Aachen and later also did my PhD in Aachen. When I started in 1972, there was this excursion to Volkswagen in Wolfsburg. We also visited the research and development department. And somewhere in one of the test chambers, there was this vehicle under a tarpaulin. And in an unnoticed moment, I lifted the tarp and looked underneath. Obviously, I took a good look at the axle and realized that this must be the Golf, because I knew which axle it would be getting. And of course, it was a highlight for me to see this. That's what also made this an emotional moment, one that has connected me to the Golf from the beginning. The Golf. The Golf. This must have caused a stir when it came out. First generation. Everyone was surprised that Volkswagen would build such a car. At the time, even its shape was something new. And even then, it was so typical and had the characteristics, the special features, the design language that it has today, especially when it comes to proportion and certain features such as the wide sea pillars. Back then, something had been created which later became an icon. Moreover, Volkswagen had succeeded in maintaining these iconic aspects over seven generations of the Golf. Now that is something. This also makes further development a challenge, especially for the designers. They can't revolutionize the design language. Instead, they must work with the given forms, always developing them further while staying close to the spirit of the time. The Golf is certainly the most important vehicle for the brand, perhaps the most important for the whole company. It's become a vehicle which has a good reputation not only in Germany and Europe, but also throughout the world. This means meeting high demands. Regarding its features, it has to be top class. You have to make sure that all in all, you're producing something big. The Golf is a vehicle that through the generations has been first in its class 68 times, if I remember rightly. This means it's always been the overall winner when it comes to testing. This is what we must achieve and keep on achieving for the next seven years in which we'll be producing the Golf. It has to be top-notch. So far, the Golf has made it, and the new one will also have to make it. I also have my own set of requirements regarding the Golf. I'm also a customer, and I also really enjoy driving the Golf. This is not just since I started working for Volkswagen. I want to be able to relate to what the customer experiences. The client is first attracted to a vehicle by the way it looks. Then he looks into other aspects of the car. Even something like opening the doors must be a kind of smooth, harmonious process. There shouldn't be anything that bothers you. The door handle must feel like a knife cutting through butter. This tactile effect, the comforting touch, that's a must. This also confirms my personal expectations regarding quality. A certain frequency of pleasurable experiences that you can create for yourself, that is important in my life. There are quite a few things that attract my interest, that I enjoy doing, but always intensively. There are certain things I can get rather obsessed with. I like to ride my motorcycle, for example, and simply enjoy working against gravity to get a feeling of freedom. Music is another of my favorites. I play the piano just to relax. I spend an hour or so playing without anyone disturbing me. Wolfsburg in particular is very much fixated on the Golf, meaning there is no other location that is so well informed about a model as is the case here concerning the Golf. And due to the fact that this is the seventh generation of Golf production, there is, within the team, within Volkswagen, a great understanding for the requirements our customers have regarding the Golf. There is also a great willingness to truly achieve a perfect result. The knowledge within the team is so extensive and so comprehensive that one must be capable of directing it onto the right tracks. 
in order to end up producing a premium vehicle. Being allowed to develop a Golf is also a great privilege. Always fighting for the best outcome, that is a very high motivation and so it must remain for the future.